Oh, Recorded live. Hello, we have some folks on the call. Hello. Can anybody hear me? Hello. Hello, friend. Hey. 
Eric. I didn't mute your phone. How do you mute your phone? Frank, you there? Frank, can you hear us? I'm not sure which one you are, so you're not showing up very well here. Uh, let me see if I can get you. Can you hear me? Um, Frank, can you hear me? Hi, Paul from Minnesota. I need- I need everyone to do star six to mute, please. Is this Gary? Okay. Because everyone to mute. Frank, I can't really tell which one you are right now, so that's why I need to do it this way. He's on so. the top one, Frank O.C. Yeah, that's, no. that's Terry. Is it, uh, yeah. No, that's yeah. No? How about no, no, Terry, 432? Yeah. Is Paul from Minnesota? Hello, Paul. Can you do star six to mute, please? Yes. All right, Frank, I'm going to do everyone except for what who I think it might be. Okay. So, all right, can you still hear me? I can still hear me so far. Okay. I need, I need those star six. If, you're, if you hear a uh, voice tell you that your line is muted, stay muted, please. And then uh, also when we get ready to do questions or the questions and answers, if you'll do a star eight, it will put you in a question uh, queue. And then I can unmute you uh, in order for the questions, and uh, that will get questions wrong. Uh, All right, Frank, I'm going to try. I still hear some uh, background echoing. Yeah. Um, All right. Talk for a moment, and I'm going to see if that's you or not that I just muted. Can I? Are you there? Can you hear me? Terry, can you mute me? Uh, is that you, Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, four three two. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I just. Um, muted. you just okay. muted me. Okay. Good. Okay. I found yeah. you. I found you. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Terry with the. Uh, uh, UKD. I was going to introduce Frank here. This is the introduction call, inter- UKD introductory call, and I'll go ahead and turn it over to Frank. And Frank, if you could introduce yourself a little and uh, tell, tell everyone a little bit about yourself before we get started and what kind of things we're going to cover tonight, that would be great. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Terry. You're um, thank you, everyone. And look, my apologies. We, we continue to be having problems in the startup of these calls, so I'm hoping. Um, we're coming close to Christmas next week, so that will be our obstacle next week. Um, we won't be having a, a uh, we may or may not be having a call on uh, Thursday the 23rd. We, in fact, I think we will have a call the next Thursday the 23rd. So by next Thursday, I hope that we will have uh, things sorted out and it will start right at the top of the hour. 
Um, so firstly, I, I welcome everyone who is on the call and I welcome those that will be listening to the call. Um, Terry, are we recording? I just want to make sure that we're recording. Can you let me know if we're recording? Yes, it is being recorded. Excellent. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so for those that are new to the call, uh, what, what these... What these yeah, I hear some people in the background there. What what uh, these calls are about is it's an opportunity for me over the first hour. So they go for two hours. So what it gives is an opportunity over the first hour for me to uh, give an update as to what Eucadia is about, um, the ongoing work that we're doing, what we're discovering, answers to important questions that people have asked over the previous week and then in the second hour is an opportunity for you to ask questions uh, and for me to hopefully answer those questions as honestly as I can and, and as succinct as I can. So no question is out of bounds. Please ask any question that you feel may help you uh, in your discernment and again this is in, in the interest and in the um, ideal of exchanging information and allowing you to help you and, and allow you to make your own decisions. So I didn't actually pen for myself tonight uh, a specific agenda because there are a whole range of things that I would like to cover with you. Uh, I, I want to start tonight firstly by answering, I guess, ongoing objections and concerns that people have. People come back and give us uh, issues and questions like uh, who wrote the canons, what's the authority of the canons. Uh, we keep hearing differing views or concerns. People have read parts of Ucadia and, and, and they don't quite gel. I want to cover some of those key objections first. And then, of course, if anyone has questions in the question part and still objections, I would love to hear them. So I'd like to deal with that one first. Then I want to talk specifically about the ongoing use of the ecclesiastical deed poll and the specific next steps that we have been working on in the documents that follow the issuing of a ecclesiastical deed poll. So I'd like to go through those with you and then talk a bit about when and, and how these will be made available to those that are listening so you can see them and, and start to use them in the case where you have sent a deed poll and, and you haven't received a, an adequate response. I'd like to also talk a bit about the tricks that the existing court system is still using on people uh, because there's been already a bit of feedback from different folk on the use of these tools, uh, some positive, some not yet seeing results. So I do want to talk a bit about that and in particular about shifting our view that we are going to a court as opposed to going to the trading floor of a very large private bank. I think this is an important aspect. I, I also want to talk a, a bit about some of the research and supporting evidence that continues to come our way in reinforcing some of the earlier claims that we spoke of, particularly about the origins of the control of the system, the origin of SESTA KVs, the origin of the underpinning of the system, uh, the cycle of 70 years that we're discovering and the significance of these events and why it is so important for us to start to see things um, clearly through that. Um, and then I guess by getting through those things, we're probably going to get through the hour. <clears throat> so let me start by, I guess, um, answering some of the objections that people have been raising the past week. Uh, 